Hi everyone, I'm Sebastian and uh, um, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about um, how we um, um, arranged um, or how we set up the base in Sound Prism. So, um, this is Sound Prism running on an iPhone simulator and, um, oh yeah, by the way, this is also going to be about arpeggios and how to uh, do them nicely in, or at least slightly uh, better than by just hitting the arpeggio button. So again, <coughs> let's start with the bass. Um, I'm playing uh, E-flat major here and I've got um, reactor, um, uh, not reactor, I've got um, razor running here, uh, native instrument razor, which is really nice. So, um, and it sounds like this. Okay, so I've got a really nice synth here, and um, I want to play that synth. So first of all, um, sometimes you want uh, to uh, have an arpeggio on the bass. <clears throat> so you might just press this, and then you would add an arpeggio either in live or whatever your uh, digital audio workstation is, or maybe even in your synth already. So I'm doing this. I've got the pinky up uh, style here, and I'm uh, I've got one eighth uh, rate here, and this is what it sounds like. And as as you can hear, it's playing not just one note. If you count, if you count it, you can hear three. And this is because uh, by default, Sound Prism Sound Prism is uh, playing three notes, three bass notes at a time. You can turn this on and off in the MIDI settings. So you go to, you open the menu, and go to preferences, and MIDI, and you've got the bass section set up here, and you can say, okay, I want only one bass note. And you can hear um, how it changes immediately. So it's only one bass note. If I turn off the arpeggiator, it sounds like this. Okay, so now we've got a single note bass, and then we want to play something in the chord section as well. Okay, and sometimes you want to arpeggiate the whole thing. So let's say you've got this bass thing, and you've got it running with an arpeggio. Nice. And now you want to play a melody or a harmony on top of that. And this is what's happening. All of a sudden, your bass starts jumping. And the whole thing gets arpeggiated. The bass note and this note here in the chord section. And usually this is something that you don't want. Usually you want, only the, uh, you want an arpeggio only on the bass or you don't want them to influence each other. So how can you change this? Well, it's easy. Um, we thought about this when we built a uh, sound prism, and we gave you the opportunity to send uh, uh, notes to different channels. So on the left here, this is the bass section, and on the right here, this is the chord section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep sending notes to MIDI channel one for the bass section, but for the first touch point on the chord section, I'm going to send MIDI channel to MIDI channel 2. Also I've got for the second and third one, I've got different ones, but we're only going to be uh, caring about this first one on the chord section, and it sends to channel 2. So this is the first step. And now I've got to tell my, uh, I've got to tell live that I only want the um, this instrument to listen to what happens in channel 1 which I just did, so you can hear that this is still working, but the chord section doesn't influence it anymore. But I also want to hear something in the chord section, so I'm, um, I'm doing something different here, let me just delete this. I'm going to just duplicate this whole 
uh, um, track here, this MIDI track. Oh, come on. Come on. I know you can do it. Nice. Okay, so I've got this duplicated and I'm going to tell it to listen to channel 2 and to channel 2 only. So I'm going to arm this track. So for this one, Nothing should happen when I'm playing the bass here. And it's going to listen to what happens in the chord section. And all of a sudden, if I arm both tracks, they both work. And if I tell the bass section to have an arpeggiator, you can hear it's not influenced anymore by what happens in the chord section. So I can play around with it. I can even tell it, okay, three note bass now. And I can also separately set up an arpeggiator for the second track as well and um, yeah have fun with it Okay, so I hope this was uh, um, a little bit um, enlightening to you and uh, I hope you enjoy your arpeggiated sounds on SoundPrism Pro. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.